So, have you guys, you, everyone knows, like, that kid who's, like, 10 or 11 years old and has a Facebook account. And they're not even, like, using the Facebook account for, like, the social purposes. They're like, playing, like, Farmville and all those stupid little games on Facebook. And you're just wondering, why? Then there's kids who have, like, Instagram accounts and take pictures of with their Starbucks and their leggings. And they're, like, what, nine years old? <sighs> and if you have a younger sibling, you might be aware of the possible Instagram or Twitter or Facebook account. Social media is an overwhelming place, and it is no place for children. So, you have your main social media accounts, like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, so, social media is unhealthy for a child's mind and body. As you can see, we have some active kids playing, and that would be what would be happening if kids were not on the internet all the time. The problem these days with kids on social media and other internet sites is that they are spending um, a lot of time on the internet. And according to a statistic from Parenting Magazine, 95% of all teens ages 12 to 17 are now online, and 80% of those online teens are users of social media sites. And then this usually will mean that they spend less time outside and more time in front of a the screen. They are prone to cyberbullying, um, which cyberbullying, as a lot of people know, leads to depression, and an exposure to non-age appropriate media from like commercials, and because sometimes you run into commercials on Facebook and others well, on Facebook, on other sites that you just question like this is not appropriate for me, like I should not be seeing this. And then the, the, of course the biggest thing is that as you're spending more time spending on social media, the more time you're kind of rotting your brain, and that is just not good. Um, so another statistic from um, a city site from Philadelphia, they said they spend an average of eight and a half hours a day in front of screens. Computer screens, TV screens, iPhone screens. And this basically means that the kids are not spending enough time outdoors and getting active. And it is just not okay. Um, so retouching the main points for a change, we have the body because Spending a lot of time on the screen can lead to obesity. You have the mind in two ways. One, because when you're on social media sites, a lot of insecure little kids tend to compare themselves to other people, and that can lead to depression. Um, and then also, you're being exposed to seeing um, inappropriate content that is not okay for young kids' eyes. And of course, the biggest thing is that it's rotting the brain. You're not spending enough time reading or doing more active things with the mind, and you're just kind of garbage and it's not okay at all. Another source from Parenting Magazine again said nearly two-thirds, 63% of teens with profiles on social networks believe that a motivated person could eventually identify them from an information they pub publicly provide on their profiles. This means that they are very prone to child predators and all sorts of bad people on the internet. And when you spend less time on the internet, you have less likely chance of getting tortured or Torture. Well, a and stuff by <laughs> Torture. Um, another source, AACAP, American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, said nearly 54% of selected profiles reveal details about Rixie, that Rixie, Rixie <laughs> sexual lifestyles, drug addictions, and violent encounters with peers. This all can be happened due to the kids' usage of social media. One in five teenagers who regularly log onto the internet say, says, they have received an unwanted sexual solicitation via the web. This is from the Huffington Post, which is kind of an opinionated website, but it's a pretty credible source, if you ask me. So, basically, I have a solution. I think that kids should use less social media, obviously. But the problem is you can't just tell them, hey, stop using social media when they start using it. So what I think should happen is parents, older, like, older um, influences, role models, should be telling the kids, like, to have rules for them. They should have a set amount of computer time, maybe one to two minutes of, not one to two minutes, maybe like one hour maximum online um, because they need to spend more time on their like, homework, they need to spend more time outside. It's, it's just, it's needed. Um, there are other, better alternatives, rather than going on Facebook or Instagram or other sites that maybe sometimes aren't appropriate, um, there are other alternative social media sites, such as Scuttlepad, Your Sphere, iTwixie, um, Emma says let's be friends, and that is very kind. <laughs> you really can't lose. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> 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 
tend to spend less time online and more time reading and enjoying outdoor activity tend to do better in school compared to their counterparts who spend hours and hours on the web. So the, these kids who are spending more time on the internet are, and they are kind of getting weaker. So oh my with God. these plans, I see a better future. Um, we now are going to see kids who are feeling good, are going to be so happy that like, they don't need to be looking at the internet, social media and comparing themselves to other people. Um, they, they're going to be more fit, maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else they do in their life, but if they're spending less time on the computer, they can be spending more time outside, and that is a good thing. And of course, they can be getting smarter, because according to that source I said earlier, they, the kids who are not online, they can be um, smarter. Uh, so, Time Magazine makes a claim that it is not social isolation by using social media as communication. But I'm going to refute that claim because the kids are, are seriously, I mean, they are literally being isolated by being on their computer like, and just sitting on Facebook, and that's obviously being isolated. Sure, you have communication, but what's missing is the face-to-face -face conversations. The New York Post then claims that by taking such extreme measures, parents make social media a taboo subject in the home. And that is not true, because social media does not become taboo. It simply becomes a more delicate subject to talk about with younger children. And social media should be a delicate subject to talk about, because it's like entering teenagehood, adolescence. Very important. So in conclusion, everyone sees younger children on social media and is oftentimes a scary image. You too can help out the cause by discouraging your younger siblings or other young kids uh, you know, from using social media like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We don't want to see the younger generation fall into despair due to the excessive online use. Thank you very much.